well, we were walking out across this little hill here, and uh, I spotted something I knew was a milkweed, but I did not have a clue which species it was. The scientific name of the genus is Asclepius, and it's Asclepius... <laughs> Numelaria. <laughs> yeah, Asclepias numelaria, which is just a very cool plant to look at here because if you're going to grow in these really dry climates, very open in the sunlight, you're likely to desiccate, to dry out. So how do you do it? Well, this is one of the coolest adaptations. Even the milkweed here, which has very typical milkweed flowers, mm -hmm. but not very typical milkweed leaves. You look at them, they're covered with these little gray hairs. And uh, they're silky soft, and the, the leaves are held right up in the air at a right angle to the light. That's all strategy to deal with this drought. So what I want you to do, take your fingers and just pinch, hold on to the side of the leaf there. And what do you notice? Significantly cooler. It's cool. It's a cold leaf out here on a hot day. And that's the remarkable thing about this plant is that the architecture holding the leaf upright and then having all those little hairs around the leaf that are silver reflects the heat, reflects light, keeps it cool, and the hairs themselves protect the stomates, which are little holes in the leaves of the plant, where the plant evaporates water. And when you evaporate, just like when you sweat, you cool. So this leaf is always around 5 to 10 degrees cooler than the ground temperature or the air temperature down here around it. So amazing adaptations, even in something that you might be familiar with, like a milkweed. Here, they're crazy milkweeds. Typical Arizona. Absolutely.